Honkai Star Rail is coming out on April 26th, and that's less than a month away, y'all. But maybe you haven't watched the boring preparations, or you just really need a really quick reminder. But before we get into it, my name is Jared, one half of the Ginger Gaming Duel, and today I am going to go over Honkai Star Rail in five minutes. If you look forward to games just like this, along with Genshin and JRPGs, hit that like and give us a comment and subscribe to our channel. And with that being said, let's get right into it. Oh, and before that, watch till the very end, because all the stuff you want to hear, like characters, and banner wishing is all going to be on there. Now let's get right into it. We have Dawei, the founder of Hoyoverse, catfishing his violin skills and how I played in my 6th grade band class. We also have Bamboo. We see a random person walking with more walking with more walking and lots of this May this journey lead us starward. May this journey lead us starward. Honkai Star Rail is a turn-based RPG and players are called Trailblazers. We'll get more into that later. Just like Genshin, you get to choose either one of these Trailblazers from the start. Someone implants a Stellaron into you and that you can basically destroy the worlds with this power. So what do you end up doing? You go into the Astral Express in hopes to destroy it. But what about the other people though? Kind of reminds me of this one movie. We are introduced to March 7th. By the way, really digging the air dust colorways who woke up on March 7th on a train. And we have a dude named Dan Hang, a biologist, on the train and also has a cold RBF. So you're known as a trailblazer because you're on a path. And there are also godlike creatures called Aeons, which can use paths and, as a sense, their energy. Quick character break. Kalpha, a hunter. March 7th, the companion. Dan Hung, a guard in quiet. Himeko, a navigator. Welt, the senior. Herta, a genius with puppets. And definitely more... May this journey lead us starward. May this journey lead us starward. So basically, there are three areas. Herta Space Station has cool futuristic tech and also a scientific research base. Nanook looks like the bad guy here as well. Bellabog looks like a steampunk area and it's hella cold there. There's also both an overworld and an underworld. They say it's thriving, but it looks like walking down San Francisco Financial District on a weekend with nobody around. The underworld of Bellabog be looking like the chasm, but with snow. Quality of life ain't that great down here. You will also meet Sila from the underworld who likes to play with butterflies. Then you got Branya on the overworld, who is their supreme guardian. Xiao Chang Lo Fu. It kind of reminds me like Silicon Valley on Asian steroids. Shen Xiao has three races of people. Be the Adara dragon water people that possess water basic magic called cloud hmms. Foxes and beasts who are super quick. They run trade like red from Animal Crossing and they are bougie as hell. And then we also got regular human beings. That live super long lives. Everyone here worships the six-armed Medusa called Yaoshi. Granted, this fruit of extreme longevity, kind of going this whole Adam and Eve thing on these citizens and brought them misery. We also got Lang. Xiang Chao has established their loyalty to this hunt, and they destroy all that are immortal. There's also a library here, a fortune teller place, and a giant tree that kind of looks like the Irman soul in Genshin. Character break. Jing Yang, manager of the affairs. Sila, all about that action and fighting through adversity. Branya, bad girl gone good, Bai Lu, a Chi Chi who swims, Yang Qing, who's just a, seems like a regular sword master, and more. May this journey lead us starward. Trailblazers break things and open chests to get all these goodies. They are using basic normal attacks, skills, and ultimates. But basically, all you need to know is enemies have elements showing that what they're weak against. Toughness is the white bar above the HP and uses characters to attack their weaknesses. And once it's done, it goes to the HP bar. So to follow up with paths, each character will have their own path. And there are seven total total paths that have certain traits. Path of Erudition does AoE damage. We also have Path of Destruction, our characters that hit people head on. Path of Preservation is Shield. And then you also have Hunt, which does single targets. Harmony for buffs, Nihility for traps and debuff enemies, and Abundance for heals. Now to the good stuff. Characters have Light Cones, which is basically the weapon banner to make them stronger, which means spend more, y'all. Finish missions and special passes to use warps, which are basically wishes for characters. Phase 1 is Sila and her Light Cone, and Phase 2 is going to be Jing Young and his Light Cone. Forgotten Hall is an event that you need to fight enemies within a certain period of time, and as a result, with finishing this, you will get a free copy of Ching Cha and also some extra free stuff. Simulated Universe event allows you to get Herta along with free stuff as well. An event basically to, you know, spill some tea. Boulder Town Super League going to different floors to fight different characters, but you also get great stuff from that as well too. There's a 
seven day login for a 10 pull for an exclusive banner. Also, pre register rewards if you did so before. Do the trailblazing missions and you get 40 more rail passes and 1600 jades. Just like Genshin, we're guaranteed a four star for every 10 warps. 80 to 90 warps will guarantee you a five star character or more on the standard and special banners. And 70 to 80 warps is guaranteed for you to get a light cone. Starter warps guarantees you a five star item for every 50 warps. And then finally, Dawei is heading out with Cannon and D in the background. What are you most looking forward to in Honkai Star Rail, or are you planning on playing it the first day? Comment below and let us know. Also, if you like, again, this content, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. I'm Jer, and I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. Bye-bye, y'all.